Hey everyone, Jesse here with Idaho Homesteading. Wanted to do an update on the aquaponics system. It has been running uh, constantly for a couple months, or let's see, probably about a month solid. Um, and I do have some goldfish alive in there, so I know that the water is not completely polluted. Uh, there is a lot of algae just because it, it still is too sunny and, and whatnot. So what I got going on this side is basically a wicking bed for the most part. Um, I planted some spinach in there and seeds. These are transplants from the soil cube maker. And also on this side I have some tomatoes, some more spinach, lettuce, and cucumber. There's a cucumber. Uh, but basically it's probably about, there's some lava rock in the very bottom. That's where the water level is. And then the soil is on top of that and hopefully it wicks up uh, enough water for these guys to actually grow and, and do well. They look pretty good actually. The other side, so, so that side is constantly going. So if you can see down here, it's just constantly flowing, that's the flow rate. The other side will only go as soon as it hits this top level down here. And so basically this is filling up every, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and then it drains completely. And the reason being is that it's really good to propagate plants this way, or to grow plants in general. So I got these elderberry cuttings uh, from a creek close by, and they were just, someone had cut them up and put them in the creek, and I grabbed them because I knew that these were elderberry. Uh-oh, it's already got some flowers on it. Um, so these have been in here ever since. These are hardwood cuttings. We do not want the berries to grow because it's going to use some of his energy to actually grow berries. So we'll take those off. But I wanted to check and see if we actually have any roots yet. It seems like we're getting closer and closer. And it looks like this one has succeeded already. I'm going to try and pull it out as gently as possible. If you can see down there, the roots have just started. And the only thing that I put in here really is some... Aha! So this is actually pretty quick. Um, I would let the roots get about double this size, maybe baseball size, and then I would move them to a potted area. So I'd put them in soil in a pot. Uh, I think I'll try and do this one in a pot just because I need more to grow right now. So I'll put it inside, I'll put it under some artificial light, but I'll keep it really well watered. Um, so it should survive, but it's kind of iffy at this point. Um, so just, you know, one plant, I think I have probably around a hundred, well, maybe about 50 or 60 cuttings. So that's why I like elderberry so much is that you can literally make 60 times the amount of plants just from one mother plant. So it's just exponential growth and you can have as many as you want. And usually I sell these, you know, for five, six bucks, um, potted up and the last bunch that I had completely sold out, which was awesome. So I'll go ahead and pot this up. I'll put it inside and I'll keep it well watered um, until I think that it's ready to kind of be moved outside more and more. But so far, so good. Thanks for watching.